Here's a chance for us to show a uh, alternate method uh, where you can at least verify that your idler gear end float has some clearance. This is an engine uh, belonging to our good friend Nick from uh, Nichols Upholstery in Paradise, California. He's doing a beautiful restoration on a Mark III Cooper S. Uh, he bought this as a project, so somebody else built this engine. Somebody that used some very good quality components paid a lot of attention to a lot of the details, but really was not a mini guy. And there are many little quirks about these engines that catch people off guard. Among them, if you just set these things up, kind of hoping for the best, you can end up with a, a potentially disastrous situation. What we have here, I assembled, uh, added the dowels. We were missing the dowels here that locate the housing precisely so that your idler gear is specifically located, supported on both sides by two bearings. We just zip these up with our cordless drill uh, so they're not even anywhere near torqued and we can see that we have absolutely no clearance. Our idler gear here is well seized up. Now it's harder to do this this way than without the engine and gearbox together because obviously you could reach around the inside. But uh, it is accessible here with the primary gear and the uh, primary seal not in place. And we can see that without this being super tight, this, uh, this gear does not move, has no clearance, is pinched tight between the housings. Um, when we went to try to test run this engine, we ran into a number of issues among them. It was very difficult to turn. The starter was getting hot instantly, and it just sounded terrible. Uh, this could well have been one of the problems. Uh, that, that, that's just way too tight uh, for that gear to be able to turn uh, without doing a lot of work. So uh, the idea being here with it open, and we'll show maybe when we're done, uh, we can actually reach in here with a variety of little tools, we basic screwdriver to push it. I had made uh, this little hook to act as a puller for something in the past. We get something behind the gear. Uh, we have the ability to sort of give it a little push, push pull arrangement. While we can't stick a feeler gauge down there very easily, we can certainly get a feeling. Uh, we've seen enough of these that we should be able to tell about a 5,000th clearance uh, that we can uh, count on here uh, not to do any destruction when this does run. All right, alternate way of looking at your idler end float from Cooper Road Mini.